One of the claims of the missionary is that one of the things the Messiah had to fulfill, and Jesus actually did fulfill, was the visitation of the Messiah to the second temple. And the purpose of that visitation was to bring peace between God and man. Now let's go and look at the particular passages in question. The first passage we're going to look at is Malachi chapter 3. Now before I read it, I want to explain what the claim is. In Malachi chapter 3, it talks about God visiting the temple and on that day he will sit as a refiner and purify the Levites, etc. Now, the claim is that Jesus actually fulfilled this because the Christian missionary believes that Jesus was in fact <clears throat> God incarnate and therefore when it talks about the God coming in to the temple it refers to Jesus coming into the second temple. Now let's read the passage. Chapter 3 verse 1 See, I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom, I, whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness, and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord as in days gone by, as in former years. The claim is that Jesus fulfilled this. Now, number one, if you read the entire passage, there's nothing here to indicate that this is referring to specifically the second temple. It could easily be referring to the third future temple. But more importantly is, when you read the passage, including verses 3 and 4, you will see that clearly Jesus did not fulfill this. Because it talks about the fact that he will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver, so that the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness. Now, did Jesus accomplish that? That the Levites, after the advent of Jesus, were then able to bring offerings in righteousness? And the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord as in days gone by, as in former years. Not something new, but the same way the sacrificial system was acceptable to God in prior years before corruption crept in, so too after the visitation in Malachi chapter 3, these offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord as in days gone by. Clearly, this was not fulfilled by Jesus.